Nation. As you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm out here with my nephew, Victor, and his son, Andrew. Uh, and so, as you can see, we're in a truck here. This is Victor's truck. Victor owns a company called Big Tree Portable Sawmill, and he's got a couple sawmills, sawmills out here. We're near uh, Niobrara area. And uh, so we drove the rig out here today. He's gonna get it loaded up. But uh, he's also got some fun toys out here to play with. So we're gonna have a good time today, do something a little bit different. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. So stay tuned. All right, so I think Victor's gonna start loading the flatbed up here. Uh, so I used to work for him many years ago, actually, at a different location. He still runs this, but I worked for him where he manages a pallet shop which is what he sells all the wood to. That's his business, they go down, they cut down all this wood, and then he sells it to the pallet shop that he manages. So I spent a few years shoving these big things into, uh, into the uh, saws at the pallet shop where we work. They mill it down to this here for raw material. Big stuff, big heavy stuff. I mean, you can see the size of these chunks of wood here. So I used to spend all day long grabbing those off the pallet and huck them into saws. Uh, I'm obviously not as in good of shape as I was back then. So. this a time or two we also when I worked there we would get a lot of uh, plywood for crates we'd make uh, for some of the local irrigation companies we made big crates for them to put their products in and so I would have to unload trucks unload rail cars like this take it all off and load it onto a truck to move it over to the shop many many years ago Time to get off here before I get squished. How much weight is that? 
47,500 probably. 47,000? Yeah. Maybe a little more. If you had to go through the scale, we'll find out. <laughs> gonna head down to where they're actually cutting the wood at uh, we're not gonna drive the semi down there obviously it's unnecessary so yeah, most of the people that you tell a sawmill in Nebraska they're like they still choose in Nebraska yeah <laughs> you've been how long is it that you've been doing this since 2005 I'll say it's been as long as I I can remember so I think I worked for you in like 08 down that way in 10. Sounds about right. Yeah. So they bring all the wood out on the army truck then? Yep. yep. That's the only thing that will carry it out. <laughs> this is nice here. Once we get to go down over there, you're gonna see how the terrain is just pretty bad. So we're about to get down to the spot, guys. You aren't gonna be, see, be able to see it very well in this camera right over there on the horizon right there, which is like right in front of us, really. That's the Niobrara River. And here we are. All stuff they're working on. You guys clearing this whole area? Not everything that you see in my, all the cottonwoods. All the cottonwoods? Bear with me. These guys are working. Yeah, look at that monster. That's what we're gonna use to take all that wood back up to uh, where we loaded the other stuff up. Go walk around down here, try not to get my fingers cut off. But, so there's the portable sawmill here. So it's just a sawmill on a trailer they could take that anywhere, chop the trees down, they could mill them down into those blocks, or we call them camps, if I remember correctly. And then out of those, you get this. Got this big beef here. This is why I wanted to come out here. I wanted to show you guys this thing. Now, I've seen plenty of army trucks like this, but I've never seen any on tires like this. So Victor had to put these tires on to be able to get in and out of these places pretty easily. Because typically when they're cutting, they're back into stuff like this. 48 by 31 48 by 31 on a 20 we got dubs <laughs> yeah we're gonna get this thing finished loading that up and we'll take that back up there drive that thing around a little bit it's hard work guys so his crews uh when they come down here to do the milling they'll stay in campers or something and they'll stay on the property typically until the job is done See how they've cleared a bunch out here. There's trees here. That's what they're cutting right now. And most of this stuff is going to be used to make pallets or shipping crates. Tree stand over there. You guys can't see it. And there's the Nibrera. See if I can make it across the barbed wire here without killing myself. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do what you're doing. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's he's too good for me. Got my balls a little bit. Miguel's had some lines out down here fishing. And he's caught a few kitties. Oh yeah. Perfect eating size catfish. <laughs> Nothing. Does he ever run set lines or just use the rods? Like just use the rods. Just the rods. Yeah, those are perfect eating size. It's a great spot right here. As you can see how the channel comes, like part of the channel comes through here. So that sandbar right there. When the flood came and I, you see that tree there? The mm -hmm. is missing? Mm -hmm. That's ice. They hit it. Holy crap. But there was a, we, we saw some trees out there uh, that had at least 20 feet up high. It had marks like that where ice hit it when the flood came through here last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this would have all been under it. I didn't even think about that. Yep. Yeah, we're right in that area. Has he got one on? Oh, he's stag. <laughs> yeah, this whole area was under from the floods. In fact, the road that we turned down to come down here, it was closed if you keep going down because the bridge was out going in across the river in South Dakota here. And this would be an amazing place to have a some land at, you know. The, the owner has a couple place, couple houses. Uh, you see the clearance over there? Oh yeah. Up on the ridge up there, that's where he has two, mm -hmm. two, two houses. Up there. Pretty nice. What are you, he's using hot dogs. Is that what he's using? Yeah, hot dogs. He comes with thunder, but I don't That's a chocolate for you. Oh, geezer. Oh, chicken. Yeah. yeah. Geezer. Yeah. All right, we're going to walk back up to the mill area. I know where, where we're cutting, it looks like, you know, like an atomic bomb blew up, but. A couple years from now, all the little trees are going to come up. We're not touching none of the uh, oak trees or ash trees, only cottonwood. And so this, is, this gives an opportunity for all the little trees to come up and, and start a new life. Yeah. Yeah, he's not just out here completely destroying the place. Nope, nope. He looks like that, but... A couple years from now, you couldn't tell that we were here.
dumps them off. That will dump it off, but how he drives the log. That uh, design is mine. Gotta start selling in that, man. <laughs> so there's two blades on this thing, one up and one sideways. That's how you can get some square wood out of it. in here guys so gauges let me get in here yes automatic transmission I guess I don't know one one two I don't know how that works uh, let's see maximum road speed so it looks like this thing will do a whopping 55 mile an hour soft top so you can take the roof off and these windows fold open, I think, this way. I don't know, but they vent because there's no air conditioning in here. Get off here with that falling down. Yeah, there's your standard tire right there. I mean, it's not much wider than my hand. And you've got these monsters over here. It's pretty big. but I just found stuff like this pretty cool. I'm sure Victor made that hitch. Looks pretty stout. Tiny little road here to go across. Over the creek. Not a lot of room for air there. Thing is just climbing it's hard to tell in the video how steep some of this stuff is got the night rare down over there and he's just ripping up this hill I mean 
We're at a good angle here, guys. That's a lot of weight on the back of that truck. Out here, basically sand. Oh, we got a little calf over here. bottom of that hill which you guys probably can't see on these gopros because they're tiny make everything look so far away but uh i don't know i just like that stuff this thing is awesome uh, i would love to be able to just drive that thing around town which i'm sure you could he's got another real narrow thing to get through right here that was a bit of a slow ride <laughs> but uh, you got to be careful with that stuff so they're gonna get this truck unloaded and set that stuff back there for the next load when he brings the semi out this thing is a beast so I didn't know but he said that he had to have the wheels custom made uh, because they don't make anything that has the correct offset to fit these wheels on there or fit the tires on there so uh, let's just say they weren't cheap I can't see anything. But it feels like it's on the, on the same way. Yeah. 
I can't see anything on this tires right here. Big boom. We all felt it new immediately. <laughs> uh, area. Tire pros. What did I? What, what? Right here, tire pros. Look, oh, yeah, oh, tire oh, shop oh, right here. I'm gonna have to go and get them. Go through there, yeah. Well, I don't think you could have got any more lucky than that. <laughs> coming up on this town and there's a tire shop right here so I think we got pretty lucky with this one go see what the damage is out there oh right here that'll do it guys Oh yeah. It looks fine from this side. <laughs> Shout out to Lichtenberg Tire Pros. Well, they're getting us right in the shop, guys. He's gonna pull it in here. They're gonna get that thing changed out. He's gotta kinda, we gotta get in this stall here, so he's gonna have to back it up, but. They're gonna get that thing swapped out and then we're gonna get back on the road, guys. All right, guys, the tire is fixed. We're back on the road. Uh, I got a little bit of filming in at that spot before I got yelled at for filming. I guess he was that too keen on us being in there, but he should have said something when he first saw us back there the way he talked about it. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're still headed back to town. So I'll see you guys when we get back there and then we'll close the video out. everything unloaded with the telehandler this is stuff that I used to do and uh, it's funny they were over here at Victor's spot but the building that I worked in to make the pallets because this stuff all gets set right across the street here and there's a shop in there that we make the pallets at so yeah gas mileage. I think he's got to pull this in here so he can fix his fender. Does it actually fit? Oh, I didn't know it would fit in there. Well, that's got to be nice. 
park everything inside. Hey, I remember almost killing myself and my wife on that thing. Yeah, I had to pay for that seat because I rolled it over on us. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was something a little bit different, something that we haven't, I haven't done before on the channel. I really wanted to get out there and see that rig that Victor had. The last time I saw you had the skinny tires on it and was sitting out here, so. It's cool that he took me out there and, and showed me that, and it was kind of neat to see all the sawmill stuff. I haven't seen that stuff in a long time. Uh, God, it's been, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been out there, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next adventure. I don't know what we got going on next, but it should be a good time, so stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.